Hi, this is my Anna Susi from HealingPeddlers.com. Something that many grieving pet owners struggle with after the loss of their beloved pet is not being able to be there when their pet died. It could be that they were out of town or at work when they died, or it could be that they didn't have the strength to be in the room if they were, for instance, at the animal hospital or at the vets when their pet was euthanized. There are many reasons why a person isn't there when the pet dies. But what they all have in common is that they were not there and they are struggling with guilt for not being by their pet's side at the moment of passing. And when I have a client that come to me with that problem, what I do is, what I always do, I connect with the pet in the afterlife using my sacred spirit journeys, a form of shamanic journey, where I meet the pet in the afterlife, capture the pet's message and bring it back to the grieving human companion. And each journey is unique, each message is unique, but what they all have in common is that deep love, that unconditional love that the angel animal has for their human companion. The animals have such amazing uh, unconditional love and light that they continuously share with us. The blame that we feel and guilt, that is something that is within us and that that we keep blaming ourselves or sometimes we blame others and it's very hard to get any healing and move forward or even connect with our pet when we are in that state. Therefore, receiving a message from a pet that has passed can be tremendously healing. Like this message I will read from an angel dog from a client and I share it in my book Healing Pet Loss, Practical Steps for Coping and comforting messages from animals and spirit guides. And this is in the expanded second edition of the book. And what the dog says is, among other things, I am glad I finally got to talk with you. I'm here to bring you blessings and light. I was a light in your life when I was alive. Let me continue to be a light on your path through life now that I have passed. It is only in my physical body that is gone. Remember that. My spirit is strong and radiating the light and love that I have always been a channel for. It is my ability to love unconditionally that allows me to embody and pass on such light and love. Don't dwell on the events leading up to my death. You did the very best you could with the knowledge you had and you need to forgive yourself. Let the unconditional love you have for me also include yourself. When you allow yourself to live and act from a place of unconditional love, you have fulfilled your life's purpose. I am your little light now and forever. Be happy and share my light where you can. That is the best way you can honor me. And that was a message from my book Healing Petlas. And I sent you many blessings to you and your animal friend and I will see you in the next video.